Hi guys and welcome to another edition of the Edu Tuesday brought to you by the team here at Ignite Search every week. So today we're going to be talking about mobile first indexing and the reason of that is because over the past several days uh, some of you may have been receiving emails from Google saying that some of your domains have switched over to mobile first indexing. Okay, so uh, just a little bit of a background on mobile first indexing. Uh, traditionally websites have always uh, been crawled by a Google bot that uh, is based on the desktop search experience, right? So desktop led indexing. Uh, but recently uh, Google has been experimenting and is looking to switch uh, from a desktop led indexing so to a mobile uh, led indexing. So while using the mobile experience, right, to actually uh, display the, the search results. Okay, so what are the implications of this for a webmaster or a digital marketer? So number one, this means that uh, your mobile search experience needs uh, to be as comprehensive and as complete as your desktop experience. So meaning that the content on your mobile, right, should reflect the content on your desktop. Uh, same with all the elements like the metadata, the H1, the structured data, uh, pretty much uh, every single element, okay? So the closer uh, in terms of the experience or the content that your mobile is the desktop ride, uh, the, the, minimal, the more minimal the impact would be or it could actually have not much of an impact at all, uh, which is a, a, a positive sign uh, for many marketers, uh, especially if the sites are already ranking really, really well, okay? Now, where you would see variability in performance of websites is if a, um, a website had a desktop experience but had no mobile version, right? Or if B, they had a mobile version, but that mobile version uh, is actually not a representation of the desktop version, meaning that, you know, maybe the desktop page has a thousand words and for some reason the mobile version only had uh, uh, 50 words, right? So in that respect, um, there, uh, there could be variability in your search visibility, visibility performance. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, so that is why on the Google support pages they have been recommending and are uh, recommending that you go with a responsive design solution to ensure that the content is the same and all the SEO elements are also uh, been replicate, replicated on the mobile as well. Okay, so so that's the that's the the, the main thing to um, to uh, focus on. Now there are two more things of note uh, of this is that number one, of course, uh, your website is always going to be ranked and uh, displayed in search results relative to other websites. Uh, do take note that some uh, elements uh, of the, I guess, uh, some ranking factors uh, are a little bit uh, different um, desktop to mobile, right, in terms of the degree. So say, for example, page speed, right, you would expect that the page speed of the desktop will be slower than the page speed of the mobile. Uh, so to ensure that you maintain your rankings, right, always try to focus on uh, improving the page speed of your mobile website relative to other mobile uh, or competing web websites, okay? So that's number one. And then number two is that, uh, although most of the fundamental point principles are the same, uh, in terms of like, you know, content, backlinks, you know, H1 metadata, all that kind of things, uh, there are a few things that are specific to the mobile search experience that you should definitely uh, take note of, right? And you can easily Google this and, and find out. Uh, so I'll give you one example now, is that uh, uh, Google has a penalty for interstitials, right? or what they call mobile intrusion, uh, mobile intrusion uh, features on the mobile. So for example, pop-ups or ads that cover uh, a large portion of the smartphone screen, right? Uh, they do have a penalty for that. So that one is actually reserved only for the mobile experience. So do take care that when you have a mobile version of the website that uh, you actually uh, take note of all these different um, mobile specific penalties as they can also uh, potentially uh, vary your search visibility performance, especially now that it's actually a mobile first uh, uh, indexing uh, for the domains uh, that have switched over, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, overall, right, uh, most of the things will not change. Uh, it will not affect your SSL or HTTPS, so don't worry about that. Uh, definitely important to keep this in mind, uh, the, the changes happening here. So yeah, so uh, do more research onto it. We'll put the links in the comments uh, in, in regards to the interstitial and the mobile intrusion uh, in the comments below, right? So you can check that out. But thanks for listening and watching and we will see you next week. Bye.